you are way more than you think. The new magic. Artificial intelligence. When the struggle becomes an embrace. We all realize that the COVID-19 pandemic has caused a decade's worth of retail disruption in just a matter of months. This crisis has made necessity more critical for consumers than choice, resulting in digital shopping behavior and more sophisticated expectations than ever. An ongoing process of stories relevant time, and inclusive in the new norm. The song of the lake what about the you? Light, temperance, temperance, what about you? Did you alter your destiny? Or did it alter you? You see, the body has a destiny. There is a purpose for everyone. Whether you feel it is important or not, there is a struggle going on in society. And we all face the reality that this pandemic does cause a change. A Google commissioned Ipsos survey found that 83% the of US shoppers said they the changed the way they shop since the pandemic. Over 50% said they might continue to take an advantage of curbside pickup services when they lift constraints. It is anticipated with the upcoming holiday season that 74% of the shoppers plan to do more online shopping than before, as 67% will confirm online that an item is in stock before going to buy it. Is there war going on? One possibly more important to humanity's fate than that other one strewing bodies across a third of the globe? What if we can prove electricity in the air, not just here on Earth, but in the vacuum of space? Electricity we can tap and use? A friend sent me the following email. He described, I will tell you something extraordinary and fantastic today. Greg Caleb, did you know that my body continually communicates with viruses, bacteria and fungi and that I need these animals to be healthy? He also wrote, I also need them to develop me so to protect you. Likewise, I need those animals to keep my body clean. If I grew up in a sterile environment, I only developed my immunity by 10%. My body would have problems purifying and detoxifying itself with a lot of cell damage. Then the least intruder would be a big problem. All intruders have cleaning up cells damaged by its harmful substances that keeps itself clean. He wrote as well, do you know that contact with strange intruders is crucial? If you continuously disinfect your hands and take out your first line defense, it diminishes your hands microbiome. As you are weaker, it will severely damage the skin. But then the body must work extra hard to repair the skin damage. This at the expense of your energy resource and increased susceptibility to infections. He continues to write, please do not think that I fear the coronavirus or other viruses and bacteria for God's sake. Yes, my little friends, keep me healthy. I will not damage my hands with all kinds of hand gels and disinfectants. I do not wear a mouse mask either. A mouse mask too crazy for words because the lungs are detoxifying organs. The tall layer of my skin is outstanding quality and my body can detoxify and purge itself every day. I am not participating in our virologist anxiety and that of the media because I prefer to be healthy and only if you are not afraid. This is a friend, his name is Daniel the Healthman. Trust your body and heal yourself. You are way more than you think. You see the difference between a master and a beginner. The master failed so much more than the beginner ever tried. Isn't that awesome? Are we aware of a new magic or a new future? I just wondered, are we aware of a new magic or a new future? 
if you think, are you aware of a new magic or a new future? If you think that you cannot do it by yourself, you can also wait for the new magic future under the Amazon Halo or Neuralink architecture, where robots will implement a new chip or you can get your Halo. It does the standard things like monitoring steps, sleep tracking, letting you know when sitting down too much and not seem too exciting till you discover that it can listen to you all day and telling you how you're interacting with people, whether you have a positive or a negative attitude and so much more. Does that sound exciting to you? Some might be very excited about it and others may say, you know what? It's way too intrusive. Sure, you can turn it off and Amazon promises that your speech is not stored, stored anywhere. But there are other sides to the halo, including monitoring your body composition and the all new labs. If you allow it, labs let you trial experimental projects. Wow! Trial experimental projects from scientists and organizations around the world. Whether discovering your snacking triggers or just discovering if walking more lowers your stress level. Amazon wants to explode this data to offer useful insights. Though some are concerned and see it as a occultism. Occultist societies that drove those surrounding Hitler and the Japanese emperor were nothing new. We're talking now 1945. Occultism or witchcraft community with entities such as jinns and demons is much a part of Christianity, Islam and Judaism. Besides, Hinduism and Buddhism are robbed by referring to such entities. The question we have is whether these beliefs, a less public but real part of our major religions today, often closeted as exorcism is within the Roman Catholic Church. Does it represent a valid expression of non-ordinary psychics? Another term for magic? Or are the thousands of years of such practices delusional? It is a big question mark. And I think a valid one to ask. Are we wrestling with a society today where we have to embrace something that we don't understand, a struggle with God. When we embrace the struggle with God, we will get our victory because he will confirm who we are. But if we give in and just accept whatever comes your way, my friend, I think you will be very disappointed. And remember, tough times never last, but tough people do. This is Brer Kale, PhD, and my PhD stands for Post Hole Digger, for I continue to dig for the foundation for our prodigal son and daughter, so that they have a solid foundation to build their future. Because change is happening. We are in the middle of change. A paradigm shift as we may call it. Do we call this the end time? I call it a new beginning. Not the new normal as some presidents predict. But I believe there is a new normal. For my father, his kingdom is coming soon. And that is the foundation that I'm digging on. Because digging that foundation for our gen next generation the prodigal son and prodigal daughter, they are still welcome. Please, folks, remember, we are going home and our father is coming soon. Soon and very soon, we are going to be with the king. God bless you. Bye for now. Efforts expended with time they sing the song of the lake and the light Temperance tempers it shine Relying instead on the spotlight so bright They found a sword on the climb up the mountain Swung it until they were strong 
Traveled through night by the shine of a lantern, singing the same lonely song. Pockets, the words not to speak, and burn them the dead again. <laughs> 